It has been almost seven months now since a hit and run driver struck and killed 16 year old Ryan Fisher along Kruger Road in the town of Wheatfield. Tonight, his family back at the town board meeting. They are fighting for safety changes to be made uh, to make the Wheatfield roads a lot safer for people who walk alongside them. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Ed Ranch spoke with the family tonight. He's live in Wheatfield right now. Yeah, this has been a really difficult seven or so months for Ryan Fisher's family. His stepmother lives down the block here on Kruger Road from where Ryan Fisher was hit and killed back in November. Tonight, she's fighting for change. All day, every day, drivers whiz through Wheatfield using Kruger Road as a shortcut. But back in November, it was one driver here who cut short Ryan Fisher's life. It feels like a, a bad dream. I'm just waiting to, to wake up from. 16-year-old um, Ryan had just left his stepmother's house. I, I can't explain it. I can't. And I just, I don't want anyone else to feel what we feel every day. So I want to do whatever I can to prevent this from happening again. So Kelly Duger found the courage to talk in front of the Wheatfield Town Board tonight, trying to prompt change. Act now to increase road shoulders from three feet to seven feet wide shoulders. Watch as this woman and her dogs walk in the shoulder on Kruger Road and how cars have to swerve to miss her. That's why Ryan's stepsister, Summer, bravely battled these beleaguered board members. Please make our road safe so no one else gets hurt. Thank you. I'm trying to make the shoulders widen so people on a row can walk safely. Problem is, Supervisor Bob Cliff says it costs a lot to create wider shoulders. If you're going to do it on Kruger Road, there are other roads that are equally dangerous. But for this family, it puts a knot in my stomach and it breaks my heart. The cost of fixing the road is one to incur to save another life. Still tonight, there is no suspect and there is no arrest in this hit and run. If you have any information about this November crash, you're asked to call the Niagara County Sheriff's Office. We're live in Wheatfield tonight, Edge Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News.